you know, if one has to choose just two or three lessons, uh, ones I consider extremely important is uh, you know, something people talk always about, and that is local ownership of the process. But you see, it has become, it has been repeated so often, it doesn't mean anything. Whereas it is really very important. What it really means is that a process will have much more uh, chances of success if it is truly uh, a process that people of that country feel it is theirs. South Africa uh, was a success because it was done by Mandela, the clerk, and the South Africans. We were just onlookers. You know, we, we, we didn't do anything. And that was a success. The second thing is that uh, you know, there is no, uh, no quick fix. There are now far too many uh, players. And you know, we all talk about coordination, so on. it's not enough. I think what you need is, is, is to have uh, you know, a, a real structure of a, a mediation effort where, I mean, frankly, you have one, one leader. Uh, it doesn't matter whom, but you, you need to have one leader. If you have too many people involved in, uh, you know, pulling left, right, and center, uh, the risk is that uh, a lot of harm will be done to the process. Um, you know, I think regional actors, uh, I mean, where they exist, you know, they don't exist everywhere. You know, when I was in Afghanistan, the problem was that there were no, 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 regional, uh, 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 no regional actors. And I would have liked to have one there, but we, we tried to create one. Uh, it, was, it wasn't uh, perfectly successful, but, but I think it did help a little bit. Um, the African Union is becoming uh, more and more an, an, you know, an important, useful player. The European Union certainly is is uh, is is taking on uh, a lot of uh, the uh, conflicts and uh, tensions that exist in the world, with you know success here and less success there. But there again, I think you know cooperation is absolutely absolutely needed, uh, and you know uh, regional regional organisations should provide the uh, knowledge they have of, of the situation that uh, uh, you know, people coming from further afield uh, uh, do not have. But I think, you know, w we have got also to accept that uh, local players can be uh, spoilers you know, uh, because they have interests and, to put it very, very bluntly, sometimes these uh, players see their interest in the conflict, not in its solution. You know, the fact that you don't solve all the problems, that doesn't mean that mediation is not necessary or is not useful everywhere. Uh, the thing is that some, uh, some problems are resistant. Uh, you have people who say that, uh, as a matter of fact, no problem can be solved until the people in that area are, uh, are, are, are ready for a solution. The other point which I think I make often on this issue is that uh, whereas ownership is terribly important and so on and so forth, it is also the case that in some cases in these very, very uh, you know, complicated issues, the local players cannot solve the problem alone. They need help from outside. And they need the right kind of help. In you know, Palestine, Israel, it is very clear that the, the, you know, it's ridiculous to say that the Israelis and the Palestinians can solve the problem. They cannot. They will not, even if it stays there 100 years. And the kind of support that is being given to them is the wrong kind of support. You know, the Americans, the kind of support they are giving them is that we support Israel in, 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 in every way. So that, is, that, is, that will not take them anywhere. I think what you need is uh, people who understand the problem, who really are sincere 
in saying, for example, in the case of Palestine and Israel, that we wanted a two-state solution and help get that solution. To say, yes, we want a two-state solution, but we leave it to the Palestinians and the Israelis. Uh, you know very well that the balance of uh, uh, you know, strength between the two is so, 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 so very big. The Israelis, unless they are, you know, they receive both incentives and, and, and perhaps also disincentives, they, they are doing extremely well. Why should they uh, give any concessions if, if it is left only to them, to, to the Palestinians? The balance of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of power, as it were, between the two has to change. And outside support has to be given to change that balance in order to help them serve, uh, 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 reach a solution. Mm -hmm.